Hey, welcome back to the Long Dark. Um, I'm Kat and we are continuing on with the Nomad Challenge, which um, I say continuing or replaying because I've played all of the challenges a long time ago. Apart from the two newest ones, I never played Escape the Dark Walker or um, the newest, hardest one, um, where you collect the graves. I'm totally blinking on the name, as the dead sleep. So um, we just thought to sort of ease into Twitch, um, I would just, well I just thought that I would do the challenges again and start with Nomad and um, part way through the challenge obviously realised it's not the most thrilling um, challenge to watch but it gives you a good introduction if you're not new, not used to the game and also it gives me a chance to get used to playing and um, talking about what I'm doing. So last episode we ended up in the lighthouse and desolation point. So I haven't done much other than what um, how we finished off the last episode. We finished off up at the observation deck and all I've done is walk down um, these stairs and check a couple of these little containers. So we've got a container here and I think we had an item here that I picked up. Um, but other than that you have not missed a thing. I also slept for one hour to save my game. So this is our next location that we're going to be spending our three days in, thrilling as it is. Um, so if you've not seen this before, or not seen the Nomad Challenge, but oh my gosh. <laughs> One moment, I will just get my other, other controller. What a way to start. Anyway, um, if you're new to the Long Dark or to this challenge in particular, um, the idea of Nomad is that you travel around all of the traditional um, older maps of the game and spend three days in particular locations. And it's a really good challenge to get into when you're first um, starting playing the game and want to do challenges or you've just finished Winter Mute and you think, um, you know what, I'll do something else a little bit more interesting. Um, and it's really good for newbies. So more experienced players do kind of find it boring. I mean, I don't find it particularly thrilling to play, but I just love playing The Long Dark, so I will do anything um, related to The Long Dark. Um, I will play this challenge 10 times over um, if I felt like it. So, um, yeah, we, we are here. We're going to do a... I'm um, going to go back up to the lockers, actually, and do a little stock take of my inventory um, because we've been here five minutes, and I'm already way too overweight, as usual, and we're going to have to kill some time anyway. So... I always prefer to do lockers rather than just dump everything on the floor. I find it's, um, well, I suppose it doesn't matter so much when you're not coming back here, like I'm not going to come back here. Um, but if I was in a survival mode game and thought that I would be coming back to this location maybe, um, I like to loot an area and then dump everything in a particular storage container so that when I come back I've got the option to um, just go to that storage container and find everything and I don't have to go through and look at all the things that I declined to pick up last time. Um, yeah, so let's have a look. I can probably drop a lot of this firewood downstairs if I decide I want to boil some water. Um, oh, we did pick up a newer pair of the gloves that I'm wearing, so let's actually just switch those over. And do I want to hang on to the... Let's be honest, I'm probably not going to be attacked by anything. Um, I also didn't put the ear wrap on. I'm probably not going to be attacked by anything, so I should I should really store all the clothing I'm not using. And also, I should turn my lantern off while I'm doing this. Cool. Okay, let's do this again. So, um, I'm also never really sure whether I want to carry around the pry bar. I think I'm not going to. Um, I have a crazy amount of loot. There's no way I'm going to need to be desperately searching for cool loot in lockers anymore. I've got a crazy amount of clothing, I'm really warm, so I don't think I'm going to be frantically trying to find food. Also I have so many bullets, I'm not even going to carry flares anymore, I'll carry one, but I've got five of those. I'm very very much stocked. Uh, I've said this in previous episodes, but I think this is challenge is set to like Voyager difficulty in terms of the predators but um pilgrim loot because there's just far too much stuff i'm just gonna adjust this ever so slightly Ooh, wrong way 
<laughs> cool. Um, also, I'm not going to be doing any crafting. Not quite sure why I've picked up pelts. It's just not something that I'm going to do in this challenge. There's no point. Probably not going to need birch bucks tea either, um, though I could definitely use that for um, lighting some fires. Cool. Okay. Well, let's go back down to the bed and we're going to start our traditional pastime sleep, pastime sleep. Let's eat something. Um, mm, I'm going to be sleeping an awful lot. If I get food poisoning, it's no big deal. Let's do that. Yeah. So quite often I'll eat my worst stuff first to get it out of the way, obviously. Um, and then once I've done all of that, so for example, once I've eaten this MRE, everything else is over 70%. So then I'll eat from heaviest first, I'll sort it to heaviest, and then I'm continually bringing down that excess weight. Because um, I'm always <laughs> encumbered in this game. I barely ever just, um, you know, stay under the weight limit like a lot of players do. <laughs> ah, the joys. So after this, we're going to go back. We spent part of... Um, we did kind of half of what we needed to do, or maybe a little bit more of what we needed to do at the Stone Church last time. So we're going to finish here, we're going to go back to Stone Church and then go back to Coastal. See if I can get away without boiling any water while I'm here, I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Um, and yeah, we're going to do, because we did sort of ha part of our time of the church we needed to do, we did part of the Crumbling Highway basement, um, so now we just need to do um, the rest of that and then we can go back to yeah go back to coastal got my notes here finish the rest of the time at Quonset and then move on to a banner lookout and then into the mine oh you can hear a plane yeah so the downside of not having a PC or a gaming area um, because my gaming is all on PlayStation these days. I don't have a PC. I have the MacBook that I'm using right now for the camera. Um, my husband has a PC. He is into games like first person shooter type games that he does at night to like blow off steam. Um, I don't really play stuff on his computer. I just I'd rather watch TV or play on the PlayStation. So I've always been a PlayStation gamer. Uh, much prefer it. Um, I'm gonna eat this MRE and get it out of the way. I mean, might as well be in in my body than being carried around. Whoa. Um, so yeah, so I've always played on PlayStation. So the the difficult part of that is that I have to sit at my on my couch um, and play if I want to stream. <laughs> so hello from my couch. Um, and I've just set up my MacBook and I had a little um, light because the light in here isn't very good and it doesn't really work. So I've got I've actually got a ring light that I've used for filming other things for my work etc so um yeah so it is a slightly awkward setup but i'm making it work for now cool so i'm not really hungry i'm just gonna drink so that i can sleep more um yeah so i think in the last episode because i did half sort of amount of time at different locations i um see look i'm almost finished actually with quantity in the church I'm over halfway so it was a little bit more interesting because I could move on almost you know pretty early but in this episode I have to finish the lighthouse so just bear with me while I sleep past time sleep past time and then we move on and yeah sorry what I was saying with the setup is that you're gonna hear the dishwasher <laughs> oh no that's okay we're gonna sleep anyway. like I'm gonna die. Uh, yeah I'm gonna do this instead of cooking up so I'm gonna be sleeping shallows anyway it's fine it actually helps in a little way because it passes time better so I'll be more tired to sleep look it'll go way faster yeah I'm actually losing condition obviously but um so yeah you're gonna hear atmospheric noise um and yeah I'm mother of two small children one of them is not home today um he isn't home three days a week goes and attends his daycare and gets stimulated by people other than me and um, but my little girl is asleep so that's the only thing that could interrupt a stream and I say it every time but I just want to you know 
Cool. So, what are we at? Listen to that storm outside. Right, we're going to um, do another pastime. Not for long though, because it is affecting my condition. Right, I feel the food poisoning at least, that's handy. I actually may uh, cook up some water while I'm here. And look, I'm almost underweight again. So that's kind of cool. Um, right, where are we at? 1.9. Okay, cool. Let's go downstairs and make some water. Mm -hmm. I actually have a fire striker now. So I'm going to get rid of, I think, I'm going to dump a bunch of matches as well. Um. <laughs> most boring part of the long dark in my opinion is waiting is waiting for fires to start or not start as the case may be um, let's whack a coal on because I can always get one from upstairs and let's do two litres of water I'm just going to go in this little cupboard here and we'll get rid of well just let's be, let's be a bit let's be a bit more intense about what we get rid of shall we because I'm always hanging on to too much stuff gonna get rid of a bunch of matches I'm gonna grab I'm gonna keep the coal and mm -hmm. I am a terrible hoarder I apologize right um, mm, climbing a rope maybe I may use that but I do have a stim bye not gonna use all of these for sure can't really get rid of some of the oil can you you have to get rid of all the oil Right, am I going to get, what's that? So it's two pills per sprain, right? Am I going to get nine sprains in this challenge? I, I, I don't think so. I can, and obviously I'm going to find more. I've got three prepared birch barks, which, I've got 82 <laughs> for ammunition. Let's go down to like 44, shall we? Uh, so, um... Right, so now I have six in the gun. I'll have 50 bullets, which is still way more than I'll ever need, but that's the way it is. Uh, oh, I'm carrying two storm lanterns. I must have picked up one here, actually, because I'm pretty sure I got rid of it last time. And I don't think I need... Oh, I did the all. God damn it, I forget about this new button that's all. Um, so let's do that again. Um, what are they else that I get rid of on the matches? I forget about that move all button that they've put in recently. So I got rid of the go drink, didn't I? Got rid of these. I probably hit, I think I hit square instead of star, uh, yeah, x square, which is what you do to select an item and then move all. I'm not going to need five of those. I'm not going to need four of those. And yeah, oh, this was it. I'm hoping that I haven't, um, so select, then transfer, or select, then transfer, <laughs> cool, that's the downside of a container, I guess, is that, yeah, you're going to end up with, um, that, um, accidentally doing that, um, transfer all thing. Which is very cool. I actually find that um, very handy in certain circumstances. We've got more cloth under here, don't we? Yeah. Do I need to do any repairs of this new stuff that I've picked up? Mm, wouldn't hurt. Oh, of course. Um, I'll usually like to go to another item and then back again. I find that there's actually uh, more chance of the repair not failing, but I've only got this one item that I want to repair. Sweet. Cool. Okay, let's go back to the um, regularly scheduled programming of... Um, we've, only, we've only got 0.9 of a day to kill. So let's do that. 
having some people duck in and out today I'm seeing some viewers come in and go which is cool as always this will be on YouTube I had someone send me a message saying that they had seen my stream very briefly and they liked the, the, the dog cam which was very nice of them I had my dog uh, the the camera on my dog last time for um, maybe half the stream because I didn't feel like being on camera and I hadn't really got the setup working yet so that was a nice message to receive because I didn't even know they were here because <laughs> people seem to sort of come in and out um, which is all good like people are just searching through twitch and finding stuff and going oh yeah I'll join that for a second and probably seeing my sweet face this time and going hmm no. <laughs> Sweet. Alright. We're going to pass this night. I think then we'll be done. Cool. She's got a rumble in her tum. Yeah, she's not that hungry though. I'm not going to bother. I'm going to hang on to this food because I've got a little while to go. Where are we at? I actually, if I probably missed a notification. Oh no, 2.8, really close. Okay, so we could do a couple of these. We could do a three or four hour sleep. I'll hopefully do it. Because once point two of a day. Well, good news is I am going to get out of here in daylight. And I get I do have to spend more time in the church anyway, so it doesn't matter too much if it was even if it was dusk or or evening. Um There we go. I would um <clears throat> be fine to travel from here to the stone church because it's not far. Also, Oh, that's my torch that I threw when I came in here last time. Excuse me. Let's clear my throat real quick. Cool. We're getting there. Mm, I'm going to go with the good old revolver. Because there will be wolfies. I think the weather mechanic in this game is so well done the only thing that drives me absolutely insane is when you're trying to travel anywhere against the wind that is really frustrating but otherwise i think it's really cleverly designed you never quite know what day you're going to get you may step out on an absolute perfect day and then the music plays and you're like oh god the weather's going to change and all of a sudden the fog rolls in or you know this this could clear up very soon and become an absolute stunner of a day and as long as you're warm enough to travel, I just travel. I know sometimes it's snowing a bit, a bit heavy. It's not quite um, blizzardy, but it's snowing, and I travel anyway. And then I get somewhere, and my clothes are all very wet. But um, yeah, you've got to take your opportunities to travel when you can. I want to search this car. I'm sure. I haven't put the hood up though, which is normally my. There's a wolfie. Oh, I got rid of the primer. <laughs> I can see a flare in the front there. Let's get in the front and see what our friend's going to do. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Yeah, I don't need the flare. Yeah, I'll drop it in the church. Um, I, I know a lot of people don't like to do the hood thing because they think that if they have to sit in here to hide from a predator, that they won't be able to see out the front. I never really had too much of a problem. Hello, my friend. <laughs> that is actually completely my error. I <laughs> I just put uh, before we started streaming, put some hand cream on, and I'm moving <laughs> the stick just then to aim. And um, slipped completely off it and was like, oh, okay, well, I'm, just, I'm not going to aim at him. It said blood loss. Okay, yeah, let's let's sort that out. Oh, 
And I don't actually know because I didn't use the shot or use a blunt weapon. I don't actually know if I caused him to bleed. I can't see any blood from him. So it's quite likely that... Oh no, look. Oh no, that, that's me, probably. Um, it's quite likely that he's just going to carry on for me again. So let's just get up to the church. and. Um, but I mean, Honestly, you can tell I'm just not bothered because I um, the difficulty level is so good. I'm going to get my so low I'm gonna get my condition back really soon but that was really funny my thumb just went nip, 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 nip. aiming with uh, the cons the controller and PlayStation is harder anyway just naturally um, I think because you're doing this incremental little move you know you're not smoothly moving and pointing over the mouse uh, the mouse over the wolf um, but um, I'm usually better than that I promise <laughs> ah yeah that's what I did remember I left some stuff, I left the bedroll I'm going to sleep in, and that's the bedroll I'm going to take away with me, yeah. Cool. Alrighty. Well. Shall we, actually? I don't have any Tinder, really. <laughs> Funny, okay. Let's make some. Um... Quite a cool sound effect. Is that the same sound effect? Have I just been playing on PlayStation without headphones so long that I've missed that very elaborate sticks sound effect? Anyway, I was going to. I'm just going to start a quick fire because I'm going to cook up some teas that I can carry around with me while I'm um, going to use one of these because well, I wasn't going to drop it. <sighs> Oh, Astrid, is it really that hard? So I've got a coffee, got a herbal. What I was going to do is cook up a birch bark. So if I wanted to say move on from here, I could. After I, um, and, um, mushrooms. It was just a very strange noise in my... Something's fallen over. Would you give me just one minute, please? It is a beautiful autumn autumn day, um, so I think um, the back door being open has just knocked over some of the boxes I had for recycling. Thrilling, I know. Anyway, so we've now got a bunch of things already cooked up. So for example, if another wolf attacked me and I needed to do... Um, What did I? Oh, if I got food poisoning again and I needed to immediately drink a tea rather than use the painkillers, I could. Or antibiotics, I could. So, um, losing my absolute marbles. Right, so we're going to, um, we're going to cook up something to eat, actually. I'm going to cook up those peaches. And then I think what I'm going to do is do my sleeping thing, but maybe have some either herbal tea or, yeah, I think herbal tea while sleeping is better. And then I should recover this condition pretty quick. And we'll just have to wait and see if, if tonight's cold. Um, the main benefit of um, those accelerants is when it's really cold I can start a fire really quick. Um, my condition's coming back incrementally anyway. Because it just does it while you're playing in this difficulty. But it's hardly an issue at all. I, re I think I'm really close, actually. What was I, two point something? Two point two already, so uh, it's not going to take me very long at all to finish this location. And then I can go back. My water has depleted very fast. So if I... I don't know if I need to really. Actually, I think I'm just going to sleep six hours. 
and hope that it doesn't suddenly get absurdly cold and I lose condition from the cold. Um, but we shall see. The sun is setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. soon. Cool. Yeah, so we're in full condition. I don't need to worry about it. Now, do I want to boil my water here or just wait till I get. No, I might, yeah, might as well. Let's actually use this. Seeing I'm not coming back here. Mm, lamp oil, I've got so much. Cool. Right on. Right on. Just need two hours. Let's do my water. You, you. I want to be fair. Let's do that as well. Last time with that one. Now 43. 40 and then an hour. Yeah, should be good. Sweet. Just be perfect. Sweet. 33 minutes still. Excellent. Right, let's do some passing of time. I've never been so hungry in my life. life. You're okay, Astrid, I assure you. I do want to keep my well fed though, so let's just do that real quick. Minus one. But it's nearly daytime and I must be close to being finished in here. Should warm up a little bit. It's also maybe the condition of the bedroll. Oh, 2.8. Warm enough now. Do this. Do this. We should be done. Please. 2.9. Okay. Let's have a little snack. Let's have a little drink. So we'll sit, yep, as soon as we see it, take the bed roll. Nothing else that I dropped here that I'm interested in. Let's blow this joint. Now I'm paranoid about my moisturized thumbs. Mm, no, I need to. It's just habit. Um. Had a moment there. I forgot where I was going. I love the animation of the wind and the trees. I'm just going to grab one of these because I know I have 16 rose hips in my position. If I wanted to make one more tea, I could. Again, I could probably dump half of the stuff I'm carrying and still complete this challenge without dying, but what can I say? I like to be comfortable. 
why I will never be a speedrunner because I don't have the balls that some of them do to just let my condition get to like next to nothing um, to be fast or to be you know I kind of wish, I think I said this last time, but I kind of wish that I'd streamed my current survival game um, where I started in Ash Canyon because I've almost died, come close to death and thought the character, the, the run was over like three times and I've managed to bring it back again and it's, some of them have been like the worst I've probably ever let myself get to before I've managed to bring it back again and it's very new for me to, to be, to push myself that far and to get out of my comfort zone like that and I think that's from watching people like Zach and Acurize um, and knowing that yeah I, I need to just loosen it up a little bit and not worry so much about it. Um, yeah anyway but slowly getting better and that comes from experience in the game as well I've done all of this hey yeah matches I've already got rid of matches um, yeah it comes from experience and confidence in the game um, and despite, you know, I've played this game since probably when Wintermute Episode 1 was released before the Redux. So I'm, I'm not a new player by any stretch of the imagination, but you get comfortable playing the game in a certain way and you don't really want to start taking lots of risks. Especially with a, with a game that is permadeath. This is a permadeath game. It's always a permadeath game. There's no restarting and trying again but yeah I am definitely trying to push my comfort zone and I mean pushing my comfort zone by streaming as well like I didn't plan to do this um, I'd thought about it a few times and then I thought well there's so many people streaming why would they be interested in watching me but I know the long dark is really um, supportive as a community so I thought you know what why not and it's fun even if I'm talking into the void, it is still fun. So. Oh, that's right. I swapped over my fire striker for a better one. I need anything right about now. Oh, Astrid, are you hungry? I'll feed you when we get to the end of the cave. And you know what? I haven't had lunch, Astrid, so everybody's a little bit hungry. I am always hungry though, however. <laughs> I can always find some space to eat. I actually have leftovers to eat today, so it would be an extremely easy lunch for me today, which I plan to do as soon as I finish streaming. Um, it will be a leftover baked potato, which I know sounds very compelling, um, which is filled with, um, my husband made like a cheeseburgery type thing, you know, mince and cheese and different condiments and, and spices and made that and put that, scooped out the contents of the potato and put it in and mixed it, blah, blah, all that great stuff. So we had those for dinner last night and I actually have leftover. Good old Friday lunch. Let's get out of here. And we're going back to the crumbling highway basement. Finish our time there. So, you don't have to go all the way down there and around. You can go down here. Always helps to crouch when you're doing something dubious. Unless you've got sprays turned off. Which, you know, I quite often have sprains turned off. This is what I was talking about before with the wind. Like, I'm not that overweight and she can uh, barely move. I just sit up straight. I'm hunching. Just every now and then I can just see the tiniest little bit of me on camera because I can't actually see the preview very well. I can see kind of what's going out on Twitch in the corner and I can just see myself like this, like this little ogre.
tell you, having two children, three and four months, um, that require you to carry them quite often. Even the three-year-old, who is more than half my height because he is very tall, his dad is very tall, um, gives you back problems anyway. I don't think I want to give myself more back problems. But it could be fun. I've got a good microphone. <laughs> Don't always walk out, walk around with my revolver out, but because I'm just like, I don't want to deal with you guys. Might as well just keep it out. And then I can just go bang bang. Mm -hmm. I always forget also to check things like mailboxes. Though I think the best thing I found in a mailbox is a bullet. Nothing. Oh, that's where I'm going. Don't let me leave the map. <sighs> I actually had chat going on right now. Hopefully one of you would have gone, Cat, you're leaving the map. I need to finish my time in the basement. Mm -hmm. Luckily that little abandoned Harris home thing came up. allergies I do not have COVID and I have not taken an allergy pill today I probably should right we were really close I don't think I need to stay here more than like three hours or something so um oh, do I want to travel back at night I suppose I could I don't really want to sleep overnight somewhere that isn't a location because then it slows everything down but it is also just um, overnight, so. Oh, two out of three. What was what was I misreading before? Oh, I thought I think it said one point nine. I think I would. My eyes went straight to Quonset and thought I was really close to finishing in here. I'm really not, so that's fine. We'll just um, hang out here for another day in a bit. I'll just do some really quick eating and drinking. My brain, I tell ya. I'm just gonna blow my nose really quick actually. That's the beauty of a mute, bu a mute button on your microphone. Really handy. I tell ya, I just have to, I know it's boring, but the weather is insane. The last few weeks, here yeah, where I live in Wellington, well I live in Lower Hutt, but I live close to Wellington, New Zealand, so Wellington's the capital of the country, um, and it's down the bottom of the the north with the north and the south island and then Stewart and a bunch of other small islands but we're predominantly these two big islands right and I'm at the bottom of the north so we get kind of well I'm slightly inward but we get kind of coastal weather you know we have wind blowing in and it cools everything down and we the Wellington itself does not get the best weather um but Lower Hutt where I live is two to three degrees warmer than Wellington all the time um it's very suburban you know it's it's sheltered and um, we don't get so much of the Wellington wind which is what Wellington is known for anywho all of this preamble is just to tell you that it's autumn here it is you know what the 6th of May and we have had insanely warm weather um, around you know like 20 degrees what is that in the 70s um, it is like normally by now I have my heating on all the time um, dressing the kids really warmly um, yeah it's madness it's really really warm and still like there's no wind I've got windows open I have not been running my heating even at night it's just really really bizarre it's climate change for you um, so and I know sometimes when we have a really good autumn the northern hemisphere has a really crappy spring so I hope that's not affecting 
people's springtime. Um, but yeah, it's just, um, it's really weird. Getting a bit warm. Right, so we got here kind of at dusk yesterday, didn't we? Yeah, 2.9. Okay. Let's see if I can move on before it's too dark and get back to um, Quonset. I really love the idea of that. Yeah, here we go. Okay. I must have missed the little alert. Alright. Um... I've actually not been paying attention to how long this is taking me. I suppose you don't... Oh, I'm at day 29 already. <laughs> okay. I don't even know how many locations I've done. I don't know how much time I've wasted not in a location. I think I've been traveling pretty, pretty directly and rapidly between the places. So. Could do a little bit of running. I love the music in this game. I wish it played more often. It's one thing about Wintermute that I think has over Survivor is that you get to hear more of the music because it just plays during parts of you know the game itself um, more randomly. Whereas the music plays in Survivor when day's changing to you know it's dawn or it's dusk or the weather's about to change. Really, is what I've noticed. Um, it would be really nice if we just had more atmospheric music. Um, and we obviously also get the cave slash is it cave is cave and the um, dam are they they're very similar. But it'd be really cool if we got some more of that music. And I know a lot of new music was released with the most recent episode for Wintermute, but I didn't get a lot of it atmospheric music. I got a lot of music with cutscenes and stories etc but for atmosphere I got barely anything that there was some sort of I think bug with the PlayStation edition of the episode and I played it as absolutely soon as possible because I do enjoy the story um, and unfortunately that meant that I um, I missed out on some of that music I think I think they've patched it I should probably replay it at some point Just had a moment there where I was just thinking this this will be the moment where I get mauled by a bear. Because I'm talking about winter mute and the weather. Because I have had a bear friend right up here before. Normally it's just the um wolves, but I just want to be. 100% sure I know where the bear is. Frickin' frick. That is close. I don't know where he is. This could get me. I'll take it. Don't need it. Hmm. There he is. And I can't be the only one that occasionally sees that, um, <coughs> that howl gets me when it's that close. Um, I can't be the only one that occasionally sees that fishing hut, um, and goes, the bear! just out of the corner of the right, but it is not. It is a fishing hut. And that one there. Now my bear friend likes to walk along the road. I'm just going to walk straight. could always go to the fishing hut if I need to. 
And Wolfie now can't really see me, so that's good. Just being paranoid. It's all good. It's all good. Got my moisturised thumbs. The deer over there. Oh. Atmospheric night noise. Hmm. It's funny how there's no trees or anything around me, but it's kind of going from left ear to right ear like it's above me in trees or something um, when I'm walking across a frozen lake. It's all good. I think I may end up getting there on time. Otherwise there's the houses directly in front of me that I could go to. Or this fishing hut. But I'm actually underweight, so I'm surprised at how... Hmm, slowly, low I'm moving. I have mild concern that I can't see the bear along this road. And I can't see the one over there either. So are they waiting for me having a little tea party by Quonset? <laughs> the amount of times I've come over this hill, uh, that house right in front of me, the amount of times I've come over that snowbank to the road, and there's a bear right there. <laughs> And I've shit my pants. <laughs> so, to the point where I'm actually going to change to the rifle. Don't feel like bear hunting right now, but. I know that people love to base themselves at Quonset, but there's too many bad guys. I remember when I was doing, um, I remember when I was doing Faithful Cartographer and the amount of locations I had to look at all this, go up to really close to the bear and just about shit my pants. I think I've left some crappy food here too, yeah. Banged up, rusty is pretty bad. Stale, banged up. So I've got, yeah, the, the dubious. But I, I, I've got, um, I've got a whole night ahead of me, and I've got pink up uh, antibiotics. So I'm gonna go for one of these, give myself a good food boost. And also, you can't get it sort of concurrently. So if you open one of these and eat, and get food poisoning, immediately eat something else crappy because it doesn't matter. I'm not thirsty. Okay. Um. Yeah, because you can't immediately, you can't get food poisoning again straight away. It's pretty close to this just being done. Two more night. Okay. So, we are about to move on though. So I think I'm, I'm gonna make that my most risky moment for, for now. Assuming I didn't leave anything else good in the lockers or anything. Yeah, there we go, I'm done. Right, so we need to move on to the abandoned lookout at the top of um, Coastal, which I'm not 100% sure. I think the best way would probably be to actually leave here, go up past the house at the end of this village and go up that way. It's the only location that I'm not 100% sure I know where it is. I know it's up by the mine, but the paths to get there, I don't always remember. The safest way to go would be to go back onto the lake 
walk along for a while and then go back up and in. This could be where it gets interesting. <laughs> I've been there many times, but do I know exactly which way to get up to it? No, I do not. Um, cool. My dishwasher's almost done. How long has my child been asleep? An hour and a bit. She should be good for a bit longer. Cool. So, mm, it's vaguely light enough. I actually think I'm just gonna very quickly. Just get that sun up so that I can actually see better. There we go. Right, I think the smartest move would be to go out to the lake and walk along. I'm just trying to think beer wise. But if I go out the back of the gas station and I go up that little slope up to the right and go up through Yeah, let's okay. Okay. This is this is as I said before. Let's go out of my comfort zone a little bit. If I get more by a bear, it's probably recoverable. Alright, I just need to... They're pretty slow. You can shoot them in the face. Right, so I can go up this one over here, which is less bear likely. Or the one I was talking about was up over there, and then go up over. You can't see where I'm pointing. I don't know why I did that. Um, there's this slope up over here, I think is probably the smartest way to go. And if you're watching this on YouTube and going, no cat, what are you doing? That's the wrong way. We'll soon find out, won't we? Because I get used to taking weird routes and this is also you know I need to acquaint myself a bit better with the upper parts of coastal like I know uh -huh. <coughs> now we know where the bear is we're gonna go the other path unless it's a second bear I can never remember where the paths intersect I'm surely you wouldn't have two bears walking down into the town you'd have one so um, I'm gonna go up here <laughs> can I, can I, can I, can I, calm down it's okay it's okay um this is why i don't play honestly playing a loper this is why i think people who play in a loper are hardcore insane insane special folks because um he's gonna run the way i want to go oh, jerk um because it's just not it's just not something that I want to do to myself in terms of my heart rate. Where did he run? I have like so many bullets I can just keep firing at him and scaring him off, but I need to scare him off the direction that I don't want to go. I could just shoot him in the face, but I'm worried about my moisturized fingers. Okay, my friend. Yeah, I got the back of him there. Yeah, see, he's bleeding now, so he won't he won't come back after me. Oh, I actually shot him the first time. Yeah, okay, cool. And there's a deer, which you know just wants to give me heart failure by having its little antlers poke up over the 
snow. Christ. Now, Bear Cave is up. It's not this first little notch. It's up and around the corner, I believe. Boy, oh boy. I don't think it's... Yeah, it's not this rock. It's the next... Um, there's a big pile of rocks that's actually a bear cave on this path. And if he's... Is it that one with the hanging stalagmite stalactites? I never know the difference. I can't remember. Oh, this is a rope. Okay, so there's... There's that. Down there... Is this the bear cave? Anyway. Trailer. Is bear cave up over here then? Oh, I'm losing track. Anyway, I could take the rope. But I'm pretty sure if I just from this trailer, I'm all right. But I don't remember where the bear cave is. Is it, is it this here? Oh boy. I tell you all that I've played this game forever. And I act like I'm someone you should watch play this game on stream, <laughs> streaming. And then, um, and then I don't know where I am. I don't know where the bear's going to get me. Not that big a rope. Let's go up here and have a look. All I know is that there's a path to get me up here, and there's a rope to get me up here, and this may be the rope. And if it is, booyah. If it's not, oh well. I have learned where another rope is. Okay. Not the lookout rope. But up on the upper part of the map, which is where I need to be. Oh yes, I know exactly where this rope is. Yes, okay. That was actually that was actually helpful. I've been up here before, because I've climbed down that rope after collecting these birch. And the worst case scenario is that I'm gonna head this way and look down and see the lookout, which I can see right now. I'm on I'm still quite far away. But at least I kind of know, at least where I know, I know where I am on the map now. Is my neighbour messing about with something? Mm, we just have to go along the top here. And hope that there's no beasties. As my husband would say, being from Scotland. And we're nearly in an hour, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to the abandoned lookout. I'm going to do my little bit of time there. And then I think we'll go to the mine, and then we will be done for today. And I will make my lunch. Because I, I may only have 10 more minutes before my little girl decides that she is done sleeping. Or she may sleep another 40 minutes. She's unpredictable sometimes. The fun part of young babies. They get to a certain point and they're like, that'll do. Or they're like, I'm gonna sleep all day. You don't need you don't need to worry about me. And you hover over them when they've been asleep for nearly three hours, like Are you all, are you alive? Are you going to wake up anytime soon? And they're like, Oh yeah, I guess. I know whenever I'm at another 15 minute mark because Rainmaker prompts you guys to follow me but there's no one in the chat Rainmaker it's okay no one's no one's there to follow me here it is um but yeah it's it's a handy little time marker actually because it tells me that there's another message in the chat and it's the auto it's the bot which is very helpful 
-hmm. It was at 10 minute increments. Like, imagine every 10 minutes. And it was doing it when I wasn't live. When I first set it up. And I was like, mm, not necessary to put in my page chat every 10 minutes around the clock to tell people to follow me. That's okay. Abandoned lookout. Another good place to find the rifle if you're doing the whiteout challenge. <laughs> Getting dizzy, sorry. Making everybody sick. Doors always to the left. Keep that. I always think that in my brain every single time I come up one of the lookout stairs. Doors to the left. Because otherwise you can go the wrong way, I guess. Nothing. Just wood. If I decide to make more water, that would be handy. Another knife. Don't even know how my knife is. I always pick up the notes. I've read them all a million times. Pause if you want to read that. Um, and there's always stuff under here, by the way. Which rifle ammunition, which I actually really don't need. Okay. We're here for three days. Oh, the. I just. Mm, outside of Interloper, I just don't use the Maglians. Outside of when I play like Stalker and stuff. When there's harder. It's harder to find things. Is it in fire artists? Oh, so I'm just going to drop it. Cause, yeah. Anyway. Let's eat something. Again. Because we're going to be here for so long. And I can cure food poisoning really easily. I'm just going to eat the bad food. There you go. Didn't get sick. Awesome. Get rid of these cans. Some water. How are we doing on water? 1.5. So I'll make some more water while we're here too. Might actually set that up now. Any more? I can get rid of this. I can get oh, another revolver bullet. Get rid of this bench. Now, if you break down these big armchairs, you get yeah. So you get reclaimed wood cloth and tinder plucks. So they're actually quite handy. I might just do that because kills time and solves some of my firewood requirements coming up. Let's light this one. I'm going to use my fire striker. Um, better to always use a book or a stick. I must have used the last book. Yep, okay. I'm not going to use an accelerant this time because you just don't know when I'm going to need to light a fire quickly. And I think I've got one left and lots of lantern fuel. So, Come on, little fire. Come on, little fire. It's not quite one o'clock. I was just checking my um, oh, yeah. phone good. because at one o'clock every day New Zealand gets a COVID update. And we're in the um, 8,000 ish days, cases a day sort of time at the moment. And I like to kind of keep an eye on the trend, hoping that that is short-lived and that we, you know, oh. come out the other side of this Omicron. Because it's quite scary to have such high case numbers in New Zealand after, oh, I might actually keep this going while I sleep a little bit longer. Um, do, I'm going to do another two liters. Um, I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Yeah, like living in a country that had such a good COVID response, and I still think the COVID response is very good. I'm, I'm definitely not criticizing our government's COVID response. I know a lot of people are disappointed at the moment that we've kind of let things escalate a bit more, but I think it's kind of inevitable. I work in health, is my day job actually. Um, I'm just gonna make sure it doesn't get cold. Um, I do really worry that we've got new variants coming and we're now kind of business as usual despite these new variants but we're just going to have to wait and see and knock on wood wood coffee table um, my family has not caught COVID so I'm hoping it stays that way my brother and his family have caught COVID but my mother, my sister's family my family, we've all managed to avoid it so far and I don't despite what some people say I don't think getting it is inevitable so get your vaccines get your boosters try and avoid getting it that's that's the goal 
stay COVID free. Ah, I just realized my stream is streaming as games and demos again. Dang. Just gonna edit it really fast, one second. Doesn't matter what I do, it um and I'll need to um afterwards go back and change the VOD to be the long dark as well. It's frustrating. It doesn't matter what I set it up as beforehand, it'll always change it to games and demos. And I have to change it at some point. And I have to change it for the VOD so that the VOD sees the right category. Oh yeah, I was gonna drop the bad knife, the not so good knife. Um yeah, actually while I'm here for a second, I'm just gonna have a quick look through. I actually got I'm gonna keep all the wood and the coal. Because I'm not very overweight. Yep. 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 I'm not been using the torches because I've got so much lantern fuel. They're good for scaring away wolves, but again, I've got revolver crap loads of bullets, so I haven't even been bothering to do the torch and stone technique. 42 revolver and 30 rifle. Just, yeah. And let's, let's have a look at my clothes, because I actually did, I just didn't have a wolf attack, so let's... Oh, I mean barely. But let's repair these anyway. There we go, my lowest is 89. Let's pass time and sleep again. Good old staple. And leaving here and going to the Cinder Hills coal mine is not challenging at all. You leave and you go along and turn right. It's right there. I'm gonna watch some of this back just to make sure that the video is good. Last stream, the beginning of the video went a bit funny. Um, so I always watch just a little bit and make sure that it's all smooth. And I'm gonna be watching this and looking at myself and going, why are you hunching the whole time? Why are you playing with your hair the whole time? Why did you leave that item or pick up that item or, you know, so. I will watch minimal, minimal clips because it'll otherwise drive me insane. Not great at watching myself for long periods. Right, I haven't even checked where we're at the journal. 1.3, so we're not even halfway, so let's just carry on. And I may leave it until we're really just about to leave and then finish the stream for the day, because I'm starting to get quite hungry and it's nearly one o'clock. <laughs> We've accomplished quite a bit today, I think. We finished, we've, we did the lighthouse, we finished the stone church, we Mutants. finished the basement, we finished Quonset. I mean, that's pretty good for a stream, I think. Let's make ourselves ill. Nope, I'm having really good luck now since the last food poisoning. I'm starting to run a little bit low on food. I probably should just stop being quite so liberal with my eating, but I can lose my, um, I'll just lose my well-fed, it's fine. I'm not quite sure where my dog is today. I think she, I'm um, surprised she hasn't joined the stream today. three. Two out of three ain't bad. I'm gonna be underweight again soon.
I need to find food. You do. Just have some sad eats. Coal mine. I'll probably find food in the coal mine, to be quite honest. I'm just gonna pass time, actually. I'm not even gonna sleep. I'm just gonna make myself super tired. Not sure what time of day I got here. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna eat my food, and then when I, when I run out, I run out. Because the next location, there's going to be food in the mine. I'm sure there'll be at least something. Um, after that, the next location we're gonna go to is we're gonna enter into. Pleasant Valley, PV, and we're going to go along to the rural store, so the store at Thompson's Crossing is the next location after that, and that has abundant levels of food. So I could try and keep my well fed, I've got, I've got, not, I've got a huge amount of calories, that's the thing. I could make some more teas and coffees, but I think I'm going to end up losing my well fed. Um, and then going to rural and then from then on. I bet I mean in terms of loot I'm actually gonna be not too overweight even without well fed, so I'm not that bothered. But I might end up yeah using the starvation techniques so that I can just keep going and not worry too much about how much food I've got. I can Where are we at? Horse. Two one seven. We can do it. Eat what we've got. It's funny how that chocolate bar is the same calorie level as one of those. Terrible. Like, imagine going through a pond and finding these, pulling off the stalks and eating them. Like, I've actually seen, you know, you see the plants in the wild referenced occasionally or um, pictured in, I don't know, film or documentary or something, and you think, oh, I always think of the long dark and think, oh, those are edible, you know. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be eating them now because I'm talking about them. Um, I like that you can get tinder off them. Um, it's been, yeah, we got a couple of hours. But, I think you'd have to be, yeah, in a survival situation to, um, willingly chew along one of those, you know? Right. That's it, kids. Um, let's go and get our lovely view and end the episode looking at the lovely shall we even it's probably not the best weather for a good view yeah oh well enjoy the snowy mountain scene i'm going to sign off for today and um i'll see you really soon hopefully i'm going to keep with the tuesday friday format of streaming twice in one week is actually um achievable if my son's not sick my husband's not unexpectedly working from home because that would mean he's working like right there and that's not very fair to him and my daughter is happy so those are the, those are the things that make or break me being able to stream twice a week um but if um yeah if all good all going well next tuesday i'll be back um mid-morning a similar time or around lunchtime new zealand time um and i'll be sharing some more long dark but for now i'll leave you to enjoy this lovely snowy scene with the music playing and i'll see you next time thanks